everybody, it's your boy Five Ways. Welcome back to another video where today um, I'm going to be doing some first person photography on. You, 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 you guys can see the thumbnail. We got a skyline today. It's Dad's skyline. And we have my FRS, of course. And we'll be taking photos of that. Um, the photo spot is the same place I shot with Annex at. You guys don't know them. They're a suspension group. They're hella sick. Link in the description. I was working with them. I took photos of their E36 there. And well, at the time I was like, ah, oh, shoot, I really want to take photos of my car here now because the photo spot's really nice. So we're going to go do that, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I take photos of cars, and maybe you guys can do some stuff. Also, we'll be taking some cinematics, of course, you guys know me. So anyway, let's get this video started. And of course, you know, you can't have an RFB video without a flip. <laughs> Okay, so I have my camera gear here. It's a Nikon D5000 and on a 55 to 100 millimeter lens. And then I also have my Panasonic Lumix G7. You guys already know that. That's my usual main vlogging camera. But today we're gonna have the POV right up here and you guys can see what my process is when I take photos. And that's gonna be pretty sick. So hopefully you guys are ready for this and let's go for a ride, boys. Follow trick. If you guys are wondering why I have this hoverboard, that's how I'm gonna film some of the dolly shots since I don't want to bring my gimbal. And I'm gonna show you guys how in post you can have smooth footage. If you just put a little bit of time into your editing. Alright, so we made it to our location. It's not too far from the house. Yep, yep, yep. Stop! Look at this right here. That looks sick. Get that on my face. Alright. Yep. need Turn on your camera make sure your settings are all G got the shutter oh yeah and all you got to do is know what you're looking for and of course I'll show you guys in how to stabilize all this in post since I don't have gimbal Make sense? Of course it does. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> wow. A good rule of thumb is if it looks good to the eye, just replace the cam your eyes with the camera. And the camera will see exactly, or at least close to, what your eyes see. And then of course if you know how, uh, if you zoom in with the lens, it brings the, f the background closer to the foreground. That's something important to note. Uh, it makes it easier for you to realize, oh yeah, I can bring that in. I'm gonna flip over my dad's skyline. At least it don't look like I do. I'm 
using now is in DaVinci uh, Resolve. You can go to the color tab, uh, go to the window down below where it's tracking, and then go to stabilize, and then hit stabilize, and then it does really well, and if it doesn't work, you can change some of the settings down below, but it works really well, so. DaVinci is free, so download it, I'll link that in the description, and it's really sick because you can even color grade with butts and all that, so check it out, it's really cool. Alright, so we reached our second spot, it's not too far from here, um, there is construction going on, but I'm going to film the b-roll shots first, and then everything else afterwards, if that made any sense to you guys. No, the car was parked right here and I was laying down over there. That way you don't get the fence. Alright so guys, I'm gonna end this video here because I'm gonna keep working on just cinematics and then a couple photos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, go screw yourself. Subscribe to me, and on the me. It's your part five, like something else. Peace.